Hey, beautiful people. All praises to the Most High. So today the Most High wants me to talk to you about the book of Daniel. Um, a specific story in the book of Daniel, which people are supposed to learn from. I know um, when I a few months back I shared with you guys that the Most High told me I'm like Noah because people didn't believe me. And Daniel, because of the visions and such that I see. And also, I understand why he compared me to Daniel. is because I, I make my request known to him. So now let's, let's talk about the story of King Nebuchadnezzar and Daniel. Alright? Okay. So, Nick, King Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, he had a vision of seven years of prosperity and seven years of famine, all right? And he couldn't decipher his vision, and he called all the wise men in the land of Babylon, the magicians and, you know, the soothsayers and the, the, the diviners, and they were unable to decipher his vision, right? So, hey, guys, look at these beautiful little gooselings. Just beautiful, isn't it? So beautiful. How beautiful this morning. So he couldn't decipher the dream. And he he made a decree that all the wise men in Babylon should be put to death. Because they couldn't decipher his vision. And then Daniel says, why so hasty, King Nebuchadnezzar? Give me three days. and Give me a few days and I will fast and pray to my God. And I will reveal it to you. All right? So... That story of Nebuchadnezzar and Daniel and is supposed to teach you to make your petition before God through fasting and praying. What did, king, what did Daniel say to King Nebuchadnezzar? He said, give him a few days and he was going to ask his God. And after a few days, Daniel got his answer from God. Do you see? That story is teaching, is teaching you how to get an answer from God. How to fast and pray and get answers. You make your requests known before God. We don't need to ask anybody anything. Yeah. You need to ask God everything. Not, you don't have, not people who he made with his hands, but God, the creator, the source, the life giver, the life sustainer. All right? That's who I go to because I don't like people lying to me. It's time for you to go to God so people will stop lying to you. And you could tap out of the matrix. Yes, I said it. And Daniel always did that. He said to King Nebuchadnezzar, I don't know this because I'm more wise than anyone else. It was revealed to me. There is one who reveals secrets in heaven. God. And he doesn't reside with flesh made with hands. So you have to fast and pray and ask God. So he can reveal things to you. And that's what he wants me to talk to you guys about. To read the book of Daniel. And the story of him and Nebuchadnezzar and the famine. And the vision. Because people <laughs> people don't rec make their petition known before God. They pray but they're praying in the flesh. They're not fasting. Right? God is a spirit. So if you want your, your request known to God, you need to be fasting, all right? And another thing is when, like, you're being seriously attacked by the enemy, you need to do night, war, night warfare prayers, okay? At 12 o'clock, you shouldn't be sleeping. At 1 o'clock, you shouldn't be sleeping. You should be praying and reading your Bible and destroying every attack that the enemy is trying to send at you because we rule the day. As the Bible tells you, the children of the light, we rule the day, and darkness hates the light. All right? They rule the night. That's why bewitching hours is from 12 to 3.30. All right? So, you, they, what they do in the night would happen in the day if you don't pray against it. That's why you should pray before you go to your bed. You should always pray before you get... I thought we were keeping social distancing, buddies. I like my personal space. Too much witchies out here. Anyways, that was just the enemy. Those are Satan's agents.